Let me tell you something. There's nothing worse than telling a dumb lie and getting caught telling a dumb lie. For example, I don't like talking to my cell phone. I can't stand talking to my phone. But I don't know how to tell people that I don't like to talk on my phone. I think that makes like an asshole. So I would much rather lie about it. Here's how I got caught the other day. I'm in my car, I'm driving. My boy calls me while I'm driving, I pick up. Yo, what up? Cab, what's going on? Instantly I lied. I said, dude, I can't be on the phone like that. I'm out the country. I'm not trying to have a hot phone bill. This is no bull This is what I heard. He said, ain't that you with the stoplight right there in front of me? I said, what? <laughs> I'm so oblivious to lying, I waved. What's up, man? What's going on with you, baby? Why you say you was out the country? I didn't say that. I never said that. I don't, I don't want to be a liar. I don't. I blame y'all. It's y'all fault. Because y'all put me in positions where I have no choice but to lie. For example, I'm here. I'm in New York. I'm at the airport. I'm in baggage claim, right? This girl sees me. She goes off. She loses her fucking mind. As soon as she saw me, she was like, oh my god, no, Kevin. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't believe this. God must be playing a trick on me. God must be playing a trick on me. Oh my God, I said I was gonna see you and then I see you and now I'm looking at you. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my God. Can you do me a favor? Can you wait here for like 30 minutes? My mom is about to land. She would love to get a picture with you. I was like, Shh, yeah, I'll wait. Go ahead, go get her. As soon as she left, I took off. I'm not standing here for no 30 minutes waiting for your goddamn mom. No, kill yourself. Die today. Death to you. Stop. I'm not waiting for you. But I can't say that. If I say that, that makes me like an asshole. There's certain lies that I can't tell. For example, I can't tell big lies. The reason why I can't tell big lies is because I'm one of those people that start to believe the lie. Like once I get that ball rolling, I can't stop. You know who I respect? I respect people that work a nine to five job that can show up late for work without an excuse. They show up, take full responsibility. Hey. I'm sorry I'm late, it'll never happen again. I overslept, I apologize. It's irresponsible on my behalf. If I do it again, fire me. I respect people that can do that. Cause I can't do that, cause I'm a liar. I am. If I'm late, something happened. I don't give a shit. Something drastic happened. Yo, dude, sorry I'm late. I was on the highway and the baby was running on the highway. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. So I get out the car, I start chasing the baby. In my mind, I'm like, why are you running, baby? That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But I'm like, what do you do? Because I can't just grab the baby and throw the baby in the car. That's kidnapping. I don't go to jail. I got a little butt. I'll get raped. I know they raped me in jail. I ain't trying to get raped. So I had to make a decision. I was like, what do I do? So I decided to adopt the baby. What I did was I downloaded this app on my iPhone, this adopt the baby app, right? I put the barcode on the baby head. Oop. That way the baby knew he was my baby. I put the baby in the car, I go to pull off, I turn around, a deer was running towards the car. So I'm like, oh, this deer is about to eat the baby. That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But then I look closer, I noticed the front part of the deer was a deer, the back half was a zebra. It was half deer, half zebra. So I'm like, oh, it's a deer, bruh. Like, that's what I'm thinking. It's a fucking deer, bruh. So I call a zoo, I'm like, yo, it's a fucking deer, bruh, out here on the highway. He was like, what's that? I was like, half deer, half zebra. He was like, did you just make that up? I was like, I think so. Um, he said, well, bring it down. So I get down there, he sees it, he's like, oh shit, it's half deer, half zebra. I said, that's what I was trying to tell you on the phone, it's a deer, bro. He was like, okay, what do you want? Do you want money for it? I said, no, I don't have that type of time. I gotta get back to the car because my new son is in the car by himself. So, I get back to the car, turns out the baby that I thought was a baby wasn't a baby. It was a grown man with Benjamin Button disease. Let me, let me tell you how I figured this out. I figured this out, so when I got to the car, the baby woke up. I was like, hey, I'm your new dad, I just adopted you. He was like, you ain't my dad, bitch. I'm 65. I said, God damn. He said, I got a disease. I was like, you got that Benjamin Button. He was like, where's my dear, bro? I said, I knew that was a Dear, bro, I knew it was. I just took it to the zoo. He was like, well, how the f am I supposed to get home? I said, you ride that mother f man? Anyway, long story short, that's why I'm five minutes late for work, because it took a long time for me to get the f dear, bro, in the car.